What's good everybody? How y'all doing today? So today I'm going to be talking about what I did to lose 20 pounds. And if you find any of this helpful, you could probably add this um, to your routine. There's no guarantee that this works for everyone. This is just what worked for me. At the end of the day, you just have to know what you're eating and how much energy you use. Let me just get started about everything I did to lose 20 pounds. So I got this little thing right here. So the first thing I did was I was tracking my calories. So you can do this two ways. One, you can use MyFitnessPal to track every meal that you eat. And um, it gives you a good uh, estimate of how many calories that is. Or what I did is that I made sure that I ate the same thing every day. Um, so I don't have to worry about how many calories I'm putting in my body. Um, since I'm eating the same thing, I can adjust from there if I'm losing too much weight or gaining any weight. So that's the first thing I did. Holy fuck, it's hot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I can't put the air on because then um, it messes up with the audio, but shit. That's how I was able to know if I was losing weight. I would first track everything that I ate throughout the whole day and then if I see that my weight wasn't really going up or down, that just meant that I was eating at maintenance calories. You could either cut how much you're eating or do some type of cardio to make sure you're in a calorie deficit. So tracking my calories was the first thing I did. Um, the second thing I did was I was tracking my weight. So a lot of people are gonna say that you're not supposed to track your weight every day but i think that you should so you're able to know if you know that's how you can adjust how much activity you do and how much you need to eat so what i did is that every morning i weighed myself when i had an empty stomach i would track my weight every morning for seven days and then i would average it out and that's how much i weighed for that week and then you do that the week after as well if you don't see the weight going down that means that you're eating too much if that makes sense so yeah that's just something i did to make sure that i was always in a deficit to lose weight i'll probably pop it up here somewhere um of me tracking my weight so you can see what it looked like because your weight usually fluctuates by like five or ten pounds so if there's one day where you feel like like you're doing good losing weight but then the weight tells you otherwise you just have to remember that your body fluctuates um so don't get too scared at the end of the day just worry about how much you weighed for the whole week like the average um mine wasn't like always going down there's sometimes where my weight spiked up and that's okay because i knew that it's all part of the process like i was i knew what i was doing was working um so i just stayed um, patient and I stayed disciplined and then eventually it got there so those are the two things I did hold up Jesus Christ it's hot hold up let me okay I'm, I'm gonna have to cut the camera because I have to put some fucking air hi so I'm back um, another thing I want to say is that um, when you're losing weight um, the recommendation for how much you should be losing a week sh should be around one to two pounds um, anything more than that you're most likely also losing muscle as well and we don't have to like that's not something we should be doing we should be trying to maintain as much muscle while losing weight um, so if you're in a higher body fat percentage you can be a little bit more aggressive um, but if you're like 15% or lower um, you would like to be more on that one pound per week so you can keep as much um, muscle with you as you cut down in weight so yeah nothing more than two pounds per week if you see that you're losing um a little bit too much then make sure you um add a little bit more to your meals just to make sure you're not in a crash diet if that makes sense so yeah one to two pounds per week that's what you want to aim for um and you can go slower you don't have to go one pound a week um, the slower you lose your weight, the more muscle you're most likely going to keep. So if you want to go slow, that's okay. Um, you know, slow and steady wins the race. 
hit us. So another thing I did was that I did cardio. So what I did since I had a lot of free time to do this, um, I did cardio three times a day. So I did it when I woke up in the morning before I ate breakfast. Um, I did it after I worked out for like 30 minutes, I believe. And then um, later in the afternoon, I went for another walk. I did this because I had time to. Um, and I know it's probably a little bit more aggressive than, than it's supposed to be. But I took advantage of the fact that um, when you're new to lifting, you have this thing called body recomposition. And that's basically like when you're a newbie lifting for like the first time in a long time, um, sometimes your body uses the fat and converts it into muscle. So this doesn't always like, this is usually for people that haven't been lifting for more than a year. Um, so I kind of took advantage of that and I went a little bit more aggressive than I should be. Because if I was to do this when I was like three years into lifting, um, I would lose a lot of muscle doing that. But yeah, um, just make sure you're doing cardio. I would recommend doing steady state cardio um, or low intensity cardio, um, like walking, um, just because it's, it puts less um, strain on your muscles. If you just take 30 minutes out of your day or like an hour and just go for a walk, um, and if you're in the gym, I recommend that you set the incline to be like a little bit steep like this. You know what I'm saying? Like a little steep. And then um, just walk for like 30 minutes. And that helps like, that helps with the weight loss. So yeah, do cardio. That's very important if you want to lose weight. Another thing, you want to make sure you're getting good sleep. Um, a good eight hours of sleep, at least. Um, especially when you're losing weight. Um, sometimes when you're losing weight, it's really hard to sleep at night um, just because your body is like, you know, you're hungry. Um, so if you're not able to sleep a good eight hours, um, like you wake up in the middle of the night sometimes, I know that's happened to me. I bought melatonin to help me sleep um, during the night. It helped me feel more relaxed and um, yeah, it just made everything a lot easier for me. So yeah just make sure you get a good eight hours of sleep um sleep and resting is like really important when it comes to building muscle and um just it's just your body like rebuilding itself that's like the phase where your body like starts healing itself after you damage it from lifting weights and doing cardio so sleeping is very important so make sure you get a full eight hours of sleep another thing is to stay hydrated drink a lot of water stop drinking sodas and anything with sugars coffee is okay just make sure you're not using any um like sugars um something that i did um was that i mixed honey with my coffee and then i drank it um it tastes okay but i just had to do what i had to do um coffee helps with suppressing your appetite so um that's something i did when i felt a little hungry but um it wasn't time for me to eat like a big course meal for me yet i would have coffee in between those meals so I could survive a little a couple more hours before I had to eat if you drink coffee in the morning I recommend that you wait like an hour or two before drinking coffee um, just because you want your body to like wake up naturally um, I'm not a scientist I'm not really sure like I just know that you're not supposed to drink coffee immediately when you wake up you want your body to wake up and have your natural like hormone I don't know I don't know what it is I ain't a doctor but um <laughs> I'm stupid um you just want to make sure that you wait a couple hours before drinking coffee or at least eat breakfast and then after you eat breakfast drink coffee um you don't want that to be like the first thing you put in your system so yeah drink water drink coffee yeah so another thing I did um because you know sometimes when you're dieting um, you're gonna have like times where you feel hungry like your stomach is like, you know It wants to eat because you're lo you're putting in less calories and you're Doing more energy. So sometimes you're gonna feel a little bit hungry um, So something that I did to make sure like to make those hunger pangs go away um, I made sure to eat low-calorie snacks. So I'm gonna put you on some game two snacks that you can eat that's low calories is 
um, I forgot what brand it is, but I'm gonna probably pop it up here. But it's popcorn. Um, I recommend this brand like specifically just because it has low calories and it's um i think it's whole whole wheat or whole grain um and it's fiber fiber is really important to stay full um throughout the day so yeah um so yeah popcorn's one of them that's what i did and another thing was um i think it's like sugar-free jello i'll pop that up here too um i think it's like 10 calories for like a small container um and it's just small things to like it's not supposed to be a whole meal you're only supposed to eat like one, maybe two for the jello, um, just to keep your hunger like at bay. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, these low calorie snacks, instead of eating like junk food or anything, that's what I did to make sure I was keeping track, not going overboard with my calories. Um, I also want to mention, um, I didn't really say this, but make sure you're eating three meals, at least three meals a day. And for each of those meals, you want to make sure you have protein. So make sure you have eggs for your breakfast. Make sure you have some type of like meat for your lunch and dinner pause. <laughs> but yeah, at least three meals. You can put it up for three, four meals. Just make sure you're keeping your body like, you know, busy so it can keep digesting and keep being active and stuff. So, so yeah, Jesus Christ is hot. Oh my God. Okay so yeah and protein is i'm and i'm saying protein is very important for your meals because protein helps you feel fuller without consuming more um so like at least the least you can do is eat like four ounces of protein um and you know we're all human so sometimes you're gonna have a cheat day and that's okay so what i did is that when i wanted to have a cheat day um, there's things you can do to minimize like the damage you do to yourself when you have a cheat day. So what I did was that, let's say I order like a pizza and you know, I can't just have one slice. I eat the whole damn thing. <laughs> if I order pizza, I make sure like I eat a, I eat my breakfast, but if I know I'm going to eat pizza later on throughout the day, um, I make sure like, I know this is bad, but I don't eat lunch or dinner. I make the pizza like both of those. Um, just because there's a lot of calories in pizza. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. I just made sure I kind of made sure I was a little bit more hungrier so it wouldn't be as bad for me. Um, another thing I did, holy fuck, I can't think, it's hot. Something else I did is that after I had my cheat day, like let's say I had it at like five o'clock, um, I would either go to the gym or go outside and walk it off right after. Sometimes it helps. Um, from you to feel like it helps prevent you from feeling bloated sometimes so if you walk for like a good 30 minutes after you eat um usually like it kind of like reduces the damage of a cheat day um and remember that like let's say you have a cheat day and then you weigh yourself and you're like five or ten pounds like higher that doesn't mean that you like destroyed all your progress because most of the time it's just um water retention and all that stuff when you have a cheat day so just give it a couple days go back to um your diet and your routine and it'll slowly like you'll go back to the weight that you were before so um it's nothing too crazy to panic about so don't think that if you have one cheat day then you have to start over um i'll start again on monday type shit um there's no cheat code at the end of the day you have to be patient and you have to be disciplined um, sometimes you have to make sacrifices for long-term goals. Um, I think health is like the most important thing in the long run. So just be flexible. Um, don't always go out and eat fast food. You know what I'm saying? Try to cook more so you know how many calories you're putting in your body and yeah. And then it should all work out. Honestly, I think that's everything I want to talk about. Um, that's what I did to lose weight. Um, I hope this helps someone out there and you know, let's all get good. Let's all get right this season. You know what I'm saying? Um, if y'all found this helpful, please leave a like, please subscribe. And, um, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.